What are some very comforting facts? Jupiter gravitational Mars, so immense modern science believe it's been protecting us from meteors for millions of years. Thank you Jupiter. It's highly likely your pet dreams of you in their sleep. Edit. I can't find the exact article I read, but this one explains that most animals dream of things they do during the day. You're such a huge, loving part of their life it makes sense they'd dream of you. Psychologito day. Mine is always humping me. I don't want to really think about their dreams edit. Dang this blow up. All of the cardigans Mr. Rogers wore on camera were it by his mother. Or what? Goldfish can recognize their owners damn he been watching you this whole time and you didn't even know. I used to have a goldfish who would suck up a piece of stone and spit it against the glass to make a noise, so I'd know he wanted to be fed. Damn fish trained me. Bees take naps in flowers. So yeah, it's okay to need a nap, even busy bees do. I too like to rest on my laurels. Scientists have discovered that rats love playing hide and seek and squeal with joy when finding slash being found. Edit. Wow thank you so much for the award. My first ever on Reddit carrot carrot. I've always wanted a pet rat. This made me want one even more. There's a volunteer organization called No One Dies Alone. You're at Sacred Hearts Medical Center, your terminal. You need a companion. From someone to talk to, or just someone to hold a hand. They'll make sure someone will be there for you. Other hospitals have this too. I would like to volunteer for that. I have companion like a mother ducker. In dog slash wolf movies, where they use real life dog actors, the people who have to edit all that sometimes have to add CGI tails, because they dogs can't stop wagging their tail as they are so happy. I used to have a sweetheart of a dog who loved to rough house. She was big, and her play growl sounded scary, if you didn't know how gentle she really was. Ever since her, when I see attack dogs on screen, I notice they often have the same body language and tone she had. Cows have best friends. So do horses, they work significantly harder when together, and they tend tend to scare less easy. Dogs make cute little sneezing sounds, to tell you they are playing and not fighting. My dog kinda just sneezes in my face. Van Gogh didn't start painting until his late 20s. JK Rowling didn't publish Harry Potter until her late 30s. Samuel L. Jackson didn't get his first big role until his 40s. It's never too late to be who you might have been. It should be mentioned that Van Gogh sold only one painting in his life. Some fish like to be pet. Clone fish are attracted to people. When snorkeling around some reefs, and after wiggling your finger at them almost like a worm, they come swim up to you, and swam between my fingers. The word for penguin in Mandarin translates to business goose. In Hungarian raccoon is washing bear. If you make it to the airport without dying, you've already part the deadliest part of plane travel. But I'm not at the airport yet. 1. A penguin was once knighted in Norway. 2. Blind people can smile, even though they have never seen one. It is human nature. 3. The voice actors of Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse got married in real life. A knighted penguin that holds the rank of Brigadier lives in Edinburgh Zoo. He was promoted in 2016. No one remembers all the stupid shiz you did as a teenager. My brain, except me, every night. Stan Lee started creating the Fantastic Four, Spider-Man, Iron Man, ETC at around 40, so even if you think that you can't get anything out of life, you still can push yourself creatively and leave a lasting impact on the world at an older age. I used to be a carriage driver at a retirement home. I took care of a lady who started painting when she was 60 and kind of had an accidental career. She sold lots of paintings to hotels and in street fairs. She had a 20 year run as painter. Otters hold each other's hands when they sleep so their mate won't drift away. This makes me utterly happy. Cheetahs are very shy animals. So some zoos give them support dogs like those for humans. It's the cutest thing ever. Edit. Whoa this blew up. Thanks for the award kind strangers. I'm just so happy. The bigger reason for this is that cheetahs vision likes to hyperfocus. In a crowd like ones at the zoo, they would get anxious looking at each individual and would try to analyze each person, which can be very stressful for them.
Dogs are very good at reading groups and crowds. They pair a dog with a cheetah to rely on emotionally. If the dog is calm, the cheetah will trust them that there's nothing to worry about from those crowds. Edit. Since I'm getting the question a lot on how does the zoo prevent the cheetah from killing the dog, I'm going to add it here. They are typically introduced at a very young age and imprint on each other. Cheetahs are also not naturally driven to kill dogs as prey. A cheetah could kill a dog, but typically a cheetah would never hunt a dog in the wild. If it was in its territory, or if a dog appeared hurt and by itself, a cheetah might go for an opportunistic kill, but those are special circumstances. The most likely situation you'd see in the wild would be if they were hunting the same prey and they fought over a kill. Smiling is actually contagious. When out and about if you think someone is looking at you smile, if they smiled too they were probably looking at you. 2020 is halfway over. The free trial is over. Reddit isn't the worst thing you could be doing. Can you tell my parents? Thanks. Edit. Typo. Whenever I've experienced heartbreak or something scary or intimidating, I remind myself I'm not the first person ever to have gone through, and for some reason I always find it comforting. I'm not the first person to be scared, or sad and thousands of others have gotten through what I'm going through, and if they can get through it, why can't I? Edit to address some comments and stating this is something I find comforting, when I'm needing to cope. Doesn't mean it will work for everyone. And I don't view it as, other have gone through this, so my feelings are not valid. It's more of, thousands of other people have felt this way before, and if they can figure out how to cope with it, or navigate and heal from it, then why can't I? This is just one of the many tools I have in my coping toolbox that I use. It's me telling myself slash, if other people can figure out how to get through this situation experience, then I can too. I just drawing inspiration from others. And thank you for the awards. It's very kind of you all. I'm the same. Like when I make a big mistake at work I know I'm not the first to duck up. And the world hasn't ended. <laughs> Deleted. Oh god I'm so glad. <laughs> Swedish blood donors receive a text whenever their blood is used to help someone. So do Australians. <laughs> Hello fighting is a real, recognized sport in Canada. It was founded in Toronto in 2004 by the Pillow Fighting League. I want this on ESPN right the duck now. My boyfriend has a panic and anxiety disorder. Whenever he gets a panic attack, one of our cats will sit on him and purr loudly. It always comforts him and calms him down. We always joke that she is our little support animal. She is very attuned to our emotions and feelings. When my grandmother parted away and I was very sad, she would not leave me alone. She would just sit next to me in silence or occasionally let out a small mru to inform me she was still there. So, as conclusion, even if you are having a chis day, your pet still loves you. I heard cat purrs are at the perfect frequency to encourage healing. Also cats secrete a hormone which makes humans happy. That's a very good cat. Your body is home to its own unique ecosystem, the human gut. Sounds gross, but billions of little creatures living inside you are helping you digest things, dispose of waste, and survive natural toxins in the food you consume. If you ever feel like you're useless, or that your existence means nothing, that's not true. You literally mean the world to your gut flora. This is my swamp. People see you 20% more attractive than you see yourself. Edit, didn't know so many people needed to see this. Like it breaks my heart that people don't believe they are good looking when in reality you are sexy son of a bitch. I know I know another edit but for all of you saying 0x20 is still 0 stew, love yourself, accept yourself. If not it'll make you love yourself. Source, Google. I feel like this is made up number but I'll take it. After nearly two years, the DRC finally declared the end of its Ebola outbreak. Edit, I suppose I should have worded my comment a bit better. I'm aware of the outbreak that started at the beginning of this month, but the fact that one outbreak ended is still comforting. When was this? Existing is hard, but most things around you are also alive and going through their own cycles, so in a way, you're on this together. Hellos exist. Not at my friends, housed during a sleepover apparently. A nighter down comforter by Matt Alk sells for over $16.
0.0000. Ida down is harvested by collecting it from the Ida's nest, making it the only down product that doesn't result in harm to the bird. I don't know. If I was an Ida bird I'd be pretty pissed off if someone kept nicking my bed every time I left it alone for a minute. Crows and ravens love to play in snow. One of their favorite activities is rolling hills. This made me incredibly happy. I've recently started trying to befriend crows. I got a huge bag of shell on peanuts for birds and sprinkle some in my backyard each day. It's adorable to see. Once I leave, they all flock down like, oaches boys the peanut girl was here again. Liechtenstein once deployed 80 men for protecting the border against Austria. Despite their worries, they saw exactly zero combat. When they called it a day they returned home with 81 men. Because an Italian bloke bumped into them and wanted to come live in Liechtenstein. They literally made a friend on the way. But the real homeland defense was the friend they made along the way. Given all the atoms in the universe are recycled in various ways, having formed in the first stars, our entire body has already experienced billions of years of each atom's own personal history. Even more comforting, it's plausible those atoms will eventually become part of someone else in the future and will continue to exist in various forms, transforming continuously until the end of time itself. So in a way, we are connected to something absolutely eternal and our ultimate fate is to be spread across the stars. Hell, depending how deep you want to get, there's also a tiny tiny chance that your pattern of DNA will form entirely by chance again, creating someone that is biologically you, but with a whole new memory, experiences and history. Basically, everyone and everything is connected. The best part? None of this is based on religion or wishful thinking. It's actual established and current scientific fact. What I took from this is that in part pterodactyl. No one is judging you. They are too busy worrying if they themselves are being judged. Im judging you. I set aside a short period every afternoon and judge everyone for 45 minutes. Toads can eat bread and toast. Holy yes. 5k. Thank you, you very kind strangers. I guess that's a somewhat comforting fact. We have been born into arguably the best point in human history. True that we have a whole slew of troubles. These issues are only minor examples compared to the plagues, social Darwinism, and overall pretty crap quality of life you outlive say 100 years back. We still have those plagues, racial biases and hatred, but we are lucky that we are alive in a time where over the past century so many strives towards equality have been made. Except black licorice, we are unfortunately still in that era. Edit, apparently I have summoned a small army of black licorice supporters. It is my opinion that your favorite candy tastes like chew for kids, but you are entitled to your own. Edit 2, dear god, there's too many of them. Pretty sure one of them gave me an award which is rad cool, but my one offhand comment has awakened the black licorice forces, I may not make it. An average person living in the developed world today lives better than a Roman emperor. Think about it. We have the entirety of human knowledge in our pockets at all times. We can take hot baths whenever we want, have fresh drinking water literally on tap in several rooms of our home, toilets, TV, kitchen appliances. We can travel the globe in a day or two. We can order anything we want on our phones and have someone literally bring it to our door. Even just the level of access we have to things. If an emperor loves strawberries, but strawberries aren't in season, touches, no strawberries for emperor pouty. I can buy strawberries whenever I want. Julius Caesar would envy us. Also, you shut your filthy whore mouth. Licorice is delicious. Edit, okay, this kind of blew up overnight. Obviously yes, we don't have the same level of power and authority as a Roman emperor, and yes, there are people today who live far below the standard we have in many countries, which is awful. I meant in terms of comfort, access to goods, convenience, and overall quality of life. I didn't even touch on medical advances. If an emperor got sick, it didn't really matter if he was an emperor, he was still probably going to die. We have purees, or treatments for many diseases, that world have killed a very rich, powerful man thousands of years ago. If you're ever feeling lonely, remember there are billions of cells in your body and all they care about is you. Most are bacteria. 
think of all the worst days of your life. You've made it through every single one of them and are still going strong. There's always another day on the other side. I'm not sure, but I think I heard this line in an old Woody Woodpecker cartoon. When I was a kid, you don't need to worry about tomorrow, because the day after tomorrow, tomorrow will have part. Poorly traduced from French, since I couldn't find the original, sorry. I don't know why but this has stuck since my childhood, and I find it very comforting. During the Second World War, a Muslim man owned a mosque in Paris. After France got captured by the Germans, the French Jews were being killed. The Muslim man offered every Jew he could find shelter in his mosque and handed out fake Muslim certificates so they won't be questioned. He saved over 400 lives. No one's your enemy, except for the ones you make yourself believe are. What was this hero's name? In Switzerland, it is illegal to own just one guinea pig because they are very social animals. It's considered animal abuse to only have one. My heart. I love that. But what if one dies, would you have to get another? Because then I feel you're locked in a cycle of constantly owning guinea pigs. Admitting you're wrong is not show weakness. It's the necessary step to become better. If you've lost someone, and you feel like that are completely gone from you life. Think about the impact they have had on you, on your loved ones, on others and think of how that impact continues to live on throughout all of life. That impact won't die with them either. The chain of life goes on. Everybody has chews themselves at least once. That's some real chews. You will always have a second chance, as long as you still want to get better. My country is pushing for a series of laws that would make ecocide the destruction of the ecosystem, a punishable crime. Wow. Where do you live? Spiders can't fly. Let's all take a moment and appreciate this fact. I hate to break it to you, but they can make pyraglidas with their webs. You are not as bad or as troubled as you paint yourself to be in your head. I sure hope so. When I sit on the couch my dog likes to cuddle between my body and the cushion and sleep with his head resting on my shoulder. Be the person your dog thinks you are. It is estimated every 10 years, the cells in your body will have been replaced with new ones. Therefore, you get a new body every 10 years making it, so you do get a fresh start. It's like using your free upgrade to get the exact same phone. When the gas gauge first reads empty, you usually have 50 to 60 miles of fuel left. I live pretty far from the nearest gas station, so when the gas starts getting low I end up playing a game of chicken with it cause I really don't want to have to make that trip. If only 1% of the world population liked you, that would still mean 70 million people likes you. Whole of Italy wants me. It doesn't matter how old you are, it's still okay to hug a teddy bear or soft absorbent toy of your choice when you are heartbroken and need someone to cry on. Edited to add, since so many are sharing the identity and story of their stuffed friends. I'm in my late 30s, my teddy is probably just under 30. He once spoke, echoed, but his voice is long gone. The light on his chest no longer lights up, but the removal of the electronics inside just made him more cuddly. He's missing an eye. He has a burn on his forehead from falling on a lamp bulb and he's a bit threadbare in places. He sits on the head of my bed because he's a bit fragile these days, only coming down for damp cuddles on especially painful and lonely occasions. And to clarify for the young, heartbreak doesn't always mean a breakup. My wife and I have a stuffed elephant that was our newborns before he parred due to premature birth difficulties that sits between us. When we sleep some nights we both hug it and other nights one of us will have it snuggled up on our side of the bed. It does help. We are made of star matter. That has always comforted me. Technically we are composed of matter from at least four different stars including a neutron star and likely the fallout from a very rare type of supernova called a wolf rayet. The sun itself is a third generation star. It's been around the block a few times and accumulated all the element we need to survive. We would probably have no metal to create a civilization if not for this. This too shall pa. It may pa like a kidney stone, but it will pa. A group of pugs is called a grumble. A group of ferrets is called a business. If you often catch people staring at you in public, chances are you're pretty attractive. 
or a free sample of the freak show. Your dog loves you. Me, who doesn't has a dog, or any pet, vertical bar. It's in our innate nature, to love and be connected. About 65% of America's aluminum is currently recycled. Every minute an average of 123,097 aluminum cans are recycled. On average, Americans recycle 2 out of every 3 aluminum cans they use. The average aluminum can contains more than 50% post-consumer recycled aluminum. It's just aluminum, but it shows that we can as a society recycle over half of the stuff we use, and we can start keeping the world clean. That and the push to renewable energy would be nice. Pretty long right up, just for a can pun. Malala Yousafzai, the girl who was shot in the head by the Taliban for insisting on going to school, recently completed her final exams in the University of Oxford. Food can be really yummy. How yummy is that scientifically? Nothing is permanent so, even if you have no hope, everything sucks, or you've ducked up, nothing is permanent. Oh no but what, if everything is great? All those embarrassing slash cringy memories that come flooding into your mind when you least expect it? Nobody else remembers them. Every last one of us has them. It's part of this complicated process called living. While you're busy remembering yours, everyone else is remembering their own. It's in the past. Nothing you can do right now can make it any better. Chalk it up as a lesson and reap the XP. That's not true. I still remember when Chelsea did a flip during gymnastics in third grade and farted mid-flip. Scientists, earlier this year, made a mild breakthrough in curing blindness, like verging a cure. It was masked by the virus headlines though. What kind of blindness? There are many different causes, it's unlikely anyone cures all, or even a significant number of them. Elephants think you're cute just like humans think dogs and cats are cute. Really? When you sleep, your mind goes into peaceful rest for you to chill after a hard day's work. Every little thing, gonna be alright. Don't worry about a thing. Deleted. Stockholm Syndrome here to save the day again. Slash S. America had a black president longer than the confederacy existed. I like this. I'm comforted. Cats are slightly heal themselves when purring. Feel literally just vibing. No matter how badly we mess up the earth with climate change and politics and nuclear warfare, etc. Once human beings don't exist, the earth will repair itself and life will carry on. Edit. I also want to include if you ask your crush out and they say no or if you get dumped or divorced, etc. Life will go on until the sun swallows the earth too. But by that time humanity would have left Earth. Probably. Stepping on cold sand at the beach. Anakin doesn't agree. Don't feel bad next time you mess something up. Every single living thing is an accident. Evolution was just a series of some cell messing up. It's literally nature to make mistakes. Some of these facts are not comforting in the slightest. But toads can eat bread. I'm not watching you right now. Kittens exist. Everyone has that fear of not fitting in, which consequently makes everyone the same. Oh my, you watched until the end? That's ducking awesome dude. Thanks for watching.